Greetings kind and gentle viewer and welcome along to another online review show. The show in which I talk about media type stuff in a review style fashion. And for the first episode of this show I thought long and hard about what I wanted to review for. Oh no I didn't. I just pulled it out my ass. For the inaugural episode of this show I'll be reviewing the ninth installment of the Mortal Kombat franchise. But first... <laughs> Back in the early 90s, 1992 to be exact, a game developed by Midway by the name of Mortal Kombat arrived in the arcade. And like a lot of people, I was blown away by it. I loved the look of the game. The fighters looked like actual people, or they did for the time period anyway. Also, I was blown away by the level of gore. I'd never seen anything this bloody before. Oh, and there was the fatalities. Johnny Cage win. Fatality. Due to the gory nature of the game, the self-appointed morality police ran around the place screaming Down with this sort of thing! With a hefty doll above Oh! Won't somebody please think of the children! It might be hard for youngsters to believe that this is ever controversial. Hell, by today's standards, I'd even allow my three-year-old niece to play it. But this game had levels of gore that was never seen in a fighting game up until that point. And I know that I'm repeating myself, but I really just wanted to hammer that point home. Over the years, Mortal Kombat has become an extremely popular franchise, which includes comic books, movies, TV shows, and there was the live action stage show. much every iteration of Mortal Kombat that can be played in a home console. However, by around the fifth installment, I was getting bored of the game. It felt like they were just flogging a dead horse. So, after much delay, here's what I thought of the ninth installment of this franchise. In the latest version of this game, there's a decent selection of game modes to pick from, including test your might, test your accuracy, etc. It was nice to see the test your might minigame making a comeback. It also has the option to play the classic Mortal Kombat ladder mode. For those of you who are unaware of what this is, you must beat 10 opponents in order to win. It has a decent selection of characters plucked from all the versions of Mortal Kombat which adds for decent replay value. However, one new character to this game is Freddy Krueger. This is fucking awesome. The controls in this game are extremely intuitive and fluid, which for a fighting game is essential. I did have trouble pulling off Centuries some special moves and fatalities, but Meaning. that's more than likely due to my skills as a gamer rather than the controls themselves, so I don't know why I bothered bringing it up. Shall also, the hit detection is spot on. Realm. Again, which is something that's a necessity for a fighting game. I can't touch upon this game without talking about the storyline. At times, the dialogue was so cheesy and over the top, it was cringe inducing. Also, the voice acting is more wooden than a chest of drawers bought at Ikea. But despite those two things, I still found myself really enjoying the story mode as it reminded me very much of the first live action movie. The gore is watered down so that younger audiences could go and watch it, which should have meant that it sucked. Because, after all, Mortal Kombat was popular due to the gore. However, it still managed to be a pretty solid martial arts flick that managed to retain the look and feel of the games. In my opinion, it's one of the better video game movies of all time. Granted, it's a low bar. However, it is still one of the better examples of a video game movie out there. Though, I will say it has been a long time since I've actually watched it, so maybe I'm just looking at it through the mist of nostalgia. This is really fun. I really dug the gothic look and feel of it. I know that it's been a constant for every game in the franchise to have that look, but it looks really well here. I also thought the story mode was good cheesy fun. How did some this game up? Everything is awesome. And now that I've played that song, it will never leave, it will never leave. You know what, I'm just gonna wrap it up now because there's only so many times I can say this game is amazing. So until the next time I feel like sharing my quarter baked opinions. Damn, damn, damn. That's all you get, jerk.